Alabama. My name is Pete Shea. So, uh, guess what day it is? What will we be doing today? It's rain day. Of course it is. Oh yeah, that one up there. Little base, that's about it. Yep. You keep looking, you'll see him. Some little Y up there. Yeah, from right here you can see his face. Pretty small little buggy. Yeah. Any problem? Yeah. got me lined up with it really nicely. Uh, let's boom down. And just get, I guess just float right over the, the trunk of it. And I should be able to repel or cable down into a good spot for it. boom down a bit more. Virginia creeper in it. The vines. <laughs> oh, it, it's just the, uh, it's just a very itchy vine, but I wear long sleeve and it's funny, like poison ivy doesn't bother me one bit, but this stuff is pretty itchy. Let's see here. I want to do. Um, so then we have to ask ourselves. Oh, so you're good. Because I imagine if we took the whole top, it's not going to weigh more than like four. And then there's a small trunk. It's a little fatter at the base, but not huge. Uh, I want to tie here, there, and there, I think.
on the line pole that's right yeah sweet all right uh cable down okay Situations like this, if it's cool, I'll often do uh, to get a high tie out of it but still have strength, I'll do a half hitch. And uh, But is the ball high enough for your liking? Or do you want to be cabled up a little more? Okay. Got that there. And I'm just trying to decide I want I want this one here I've got and then I've got three others to tie to so hmm. I'm just trying to decide which of the three I want to pick to tie to I'm in my mind I'm running trying to figure out what's going to be the best balanced way to tie it right yeah yeah <laughs> to where it holds and doesn't we don't have branch failure and shit like that <laughs> never had that happen but i have had branch failures a couple uh one of them with derek recently it was what do you call it it was a, just a trunk not and it ended up weighing about 6,000. It was a trunk with three sprawly branches. And we, uh, on one of the branches, tied out a little too far past a fork. Where we should have tied at the fork, we tied a little bit past the fork. And it tore that upper limb up. And it happened right above my head. Like, I shit my pants and went running. I had the cracking and everything. I was scared. <laughs> uh, well, I was on the ground. So I started scurrying and running and like I tripped over the tree stump and and I hit my knee on the tree stump. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, cause it's cr cracking and I see like it all happening right above my head. And I get away and look up uh, after I make it to like the next tree I'm under and uh, and it's just hanging there, you know, it's all tied on very well, but it scared the crap out of me. And then Derek comes back and looks at it with me and he crunches a water bottle behind my back. I'm like, you bastard. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, that went on for like the rest of the day, the PTSD and shit. <laughs> yeah yeah he's got a liking for it and everything yeah Right? Yeah, Derek will show me pictures sometimes of like what he's working with. Whether it be the climb, yeah, the climber, or how he's rigging shit.
Oh yeah. It's uh his name, shit. Lamar. Oh, I'm trying to think of the owner's name. If it's the mid-Florida I'm thinking about, he's got uh, his own crane. Oh. Shit. And an army. Yeah. That reminds me of yesterday. We dropped a tree on the ground and uh, started cutting up all the brush. Out of nowhere, bro, there's an entire brigade of Spanish guys wanting all the firewood. And before we knew it, the whole tree was cleaned up. They took everything except for the trunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was like eight of them. Next thing you know, their truck is fully loaded down with big logs. <laughs> I busted out my 500i and started ripping because they were taking it faster than we were putting it out. All right. And we have this one, this one, both eight inch, this one, eight or nine inch piece here. Uh, if anything, we're, we're pretty over center right now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you're like right in between the fences there, and that's important. Um, you want to go ahead and, and cable up and see how it looks? All right, they all tightened up nicely. Which way? right and it has a branch out to the left so if anything if it wants to settle at all it might be that way a little bit oh yeah it's all locked up <laughs> Fuck. at least we can see it yeah, you're right there too. They will. They will try. Yeah, there was a guy yelling at the air on my way in. Who's that? What, a he's, manager? He's the manager. He runs the, all the departments of health. Oh, okay. He's a, he's a prick. All right, there we got a prick manager on site. Runs the department of health. <laughs> I do three different fucking. Yeah. <laughs> he said, does he need to tell him he's too close to the crane? He needs a hard hat. Yeah, because we're about to bring this tent, like, yeah. probably 8,000 pound pick around. Oh, uh, I was going to go below, right, right at the ground. Man, all this fucking elephant ear up in here. All right, if we could do one cut and be done with it, that would be awesome. If it's smarter to spike up and cut it a little higher to protect the fence, we could do that. But uh, if we can, what do you think? That's a really strong fence too. <laughs> the only thing I'm seeing here is like, I can't go to the other side to cut it.
trunk. I'm going to I'm going to grab my bigger saw just because I can't walk around the trunk. It's a 36 inch bar, same size saw. Uh How much do we think this trunk is? Yeah, and you're only good for 10. Yeah, I guess because it gets so fat at the bottom. Uh, maybe I maybe I should spike up it and just cut above the fence just to be safe. Okay, then I'll keep this off. <laughs> Right? Okay. Uh, we can't go over 10,000 because the line pull. So, seeing as how this trunk gets all fat and everything, it's kind of iffing us out a bit. I think I could just stand up and reach up and cut. something.
gives you your weight reading and con oh, it controls everything. <laughs> Shit. Thanks, man. Well, Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still eluding. <laughs> He's getting some of the weight underneath off. Okay. He's gonna leave that hole. Huh? Yeah, I'll just come with the mini and grab it. Okay. All right. So to explain what happened, and I'm talking to the camera now, is uh. Oh yeah, and I've got the, the before video to this as well, looking at the trees. This one had a bottom branch I was talking about being over the power, and then it had an upper central part that was almost nothing to it and kind of decayed. And then it had one branch out this way. We took that one, and we came in, and we got the top one tied up nicely, and as I was cutting through it, it felt hollow, which I didn't think anything of as far as safety-wise, but... As I finished the cut, I had my lanyard around the tree and I had my lifeline around the lower branch. Just in case, you know, I cut my lanyard, I'd still be hanging. So as I cut through to free that piece up, the, the whole bottom limb started to fail. So I grabbed my uh, pencil Z on and started releasing my lanyard and and that piece failed and landed on the house here and the, the, the whole branch fell and I went with it. My lanyard with my hand on it released all the way down there and uh, I did not get crushed or harmed other than other than my my arm get scratched up, tore up my my nice arbor wear shirt. <laughs> I've been wanting to get a new one anyway. Good lord, that was close. I could have easily been snagged and crushed under that thing. But it caught on the power line, the house, the fence. And didn't take me down any further with it. And honestly, any further, I think it would have been snapping rope and snapping my gear. Son of a gun. 
Yeah! Fucking butthole. Needs to be higher up than that. That guy's got the ladder I need. Oh. Can you give me a lift? That? Can you give me a lift? Yeah, I just need to push that up a little higher. Derek sometimes has that little four foot ladder right on the front. Oh, <laughs> 
because of this, it was, you know, because the power line was to go over there and cut some. But it's definitely going to be something to be aware of from here on out. It's got hella torque. Didn't even need to wedge it with anything. No. No, that machine will pick up a shit ton. So what did it look like from your perspective? Everything going to shit. Everything going to shit quick. Yeah. No, you, you had a branch in the air, and then the other branch went down and took me down with it, and you saw a fucking spark. Oh my god. <laughs> right? And I, you could hear me though, talking through it, like, I'm okay, somehow. <laughs> Everything, the fence, the wire, the house, the brush on the ground, it all played a factor. How much rope I had. It's so funny because I just made that lanyard and I made it a foot longer than my last one. Yeah, it was gonna suck me under and then all of a sudden everything stopped and I was like, oh, thank God It was pulling me down 